because you about to be an ATL. -L -E -L. Um, since you brought up candy, we can talk about candy for a hot moment. Now, candy is it listen. We talked about Candy a few days ago. We talked about her tax situation. She owed fifteen thousand dollars to uh the feds. Okay, was it the feds or was it um? Hold on, let me pull it up. I gotta pull it up. Radar, radar, be on Candy ass, y'all. Uh, Candy Burris accused of owing twenty k in back taxes. Months after her ATL restaurant failed inspection, this is from Radar Online. I'm just, I'm just here to read it. Uh, Real Housewives star Candy Burris has been slapped with a second two federal tax lien in a matter of months, according to court documents obtained by Radar. The Bravo stars company Burris Tucker Restaurant Group LLC is accused of owing $5,156.50 in back taxes. I know she got it. Why she playing? The lien filed by the IRS accuses Candy and her husband, Todd Tucker, of refusing to pay up on the money owed for their 2021 bill. Dang, 2021 do already? Candy and Ty own two restaurants in Atlanta. Old Lady Gang and Blaze. The lien appears to be connected to their business taxes, which are due quarterly. In July, the Real Housewives star was hit with a se separate lien over a 2020 bill. The IRS said her company owed $15,812.52 for that year. Uh, the grand total for her tax debt comes to $20,969.02. Both liens remain active and have yet to be settled with Uncle Sam's. Uh, Candy's restaurants are still dealing with issues behind the scenes. Blaze has struggled to pass health inspections and currently has a C rating. Back in May, the restaurant was forced to temporarily temporarily shut down after inspector found multiple code violations. The report noted the inspector observed hot, potentially hazardous, hazardous food received at less than 135 degrees, expired food being used, and food not properly labeled. Food handler touched raw oysters and raw salmon and then proceeded to handle ready-to-eat leafy greens, blah, 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 blah. We already know that. Uh, the store Blaze received before it shut down was a B, okay? Uh, the old lady gang uh, <laughs> hasn't done much better, by the way. The restaurant also has a C rating and hasn't not received an A rating since uh, last February. The biggest violation during their inspection was food not being kept at the proper temperature. Candy has not spoken publicly about her restaurant issues or her tax woes. Whew, but $20,000 is not a lot of money. I don't know what is, is Candy playing? Is Todd playing? What is going on? I know Candy got it. Mm -hmm. Y'all said Candy is a billionaire. She got it. So there's it. Uh, she's trying to get people to watch her new show. Mm -hmm. Would be better get checked out. Oh, not expired food. Yes, child, expired food. All that money and she won't pay her bills. You are not clear, Candy. Pay your bills. Listen. I ain't talking about nobody tax problems, honey, because the IRS does not discriminate. <laughs> it's, it's not. But $20,000, that should be a uh, pocket change to candy. I don't understand. 20 G's candy, you could have just uh, wrote that and be done with it. All I say is never charge for ice. <laughs> QK, is that what it is? She charged for ice and, and that was it. Okay. Whoopi was paid to come eat the Whoopi don't need nobody to pay her to eat. She had over $750,000 in PPP loans. She has that money. Ooh, damn. Yeah, she got 20 G. What is going on? What did she do with the money? <sighs> oh, well. Next topic. Listen. Next